welcome to Blue Harvey's Toys. Um, not usually I do pick up videos anymore, but I had, to, I had to show you what I picked up today. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic day today. And these are all from charity shops. Uh, one was like a vintage shop, but I got, I got this, uh, I'll just show you this. You know, this, this gets me, right? Um, I'll show you the boxes in a bit, but Charlie Shop, stop putting so much sellotape on the bloody boxes. I had a right go at the, <laughs> the kind of shop, I don't think I was very happy with it. It wasn't me. Right. So yeah, um, the vintage shop, and I think getting these today was really good karma for helping this lady out in a vintage shop. I will do a video down there, actually. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, do a, I might do a, a Marley video, but this it's a vintage it's a vintage stall it's like a little shop in the molly market and i did find yellow beard my god you can remember can, can you i don't think more money people can remember the actual film um let alone have this book uh, it was full of oh, my film and look, look it's full full of really good actors written by graham chapman and Madeline Kahn's in it as well. And um, Peter Cook, believe it or not. But I'll read. <laughs> so there's Madeline Kahn. So yeah, this, I might have to get this on DVD. It's, it's, it's a terrible film, but it has so many good people in it. So I had to get that, I had to, I had to find that. A big shout out to the uh, the lady in that shop sorry I, I can't remember the bloody shop name right so we're gonna go we've got this one pound fifty which is obviously the all the lightsabers which light up when you put your hot drink in there one pound fifty for that we have uh, that skeleton this was 2 99 and these go off for quite a bit online on, uh, on, on flea bear so I picked that up I had to get that. I love Jack Skellington anyway. I uh, picked up a Haunted Places of Yorkshire for my other channel, Blue Harvey's 2. Check that out if you haven't already. Might be places to visit there. Um, these these blew, they blew me away. I have no idea how these were still on the shelves. And yeah, as you can see, sellotape. Ugh, it's going to be a bugger to get that off. But it is the Britons. Ancient Siege Machines catapult. I've had a quick look. These it's supposed to be on a tray. The tray is not there. The catapult's there. The two guys are there, the little figures, and one of the boulders is there. So it's more or less complete apart from this tray. And those go about for, for about £40. And I bought it for three. I didn't buy it for seven and six. Curry's limited. Curry's. I'll have to look that up. So there we go, seven and six. Absolutely brilliant. And, even better, a Timpo catapult. And this, I've had a quick look at this. I've, I've taken off the, the sellotape as much as I can. The box is not that bad. I don't know what year this is. I need to research a bit. But it is quite old. It predates my Timpo days. I know that. So it's, it's got to be 60s, early 70s. Um, there we go. Manufactured in Great Britain by Model Toys Limited Shop, Lanarkshire, Scotland. So, Timpo, you might know about Timpo. So, there we go, it's still in its wrap, it's in its tissue paper in there. Now, I've not had a good look at that, I don't know if there's a figure in there. I need to check that out. So, that, believe it or not, can go for like 100, 120 pounds. Depends. I need to check it and check that for completeness. But um, I did pick up. It's knackered. It's absolutely knackered. One of the wheels is missing. Apart from that, it's not too bad. And it was a pound. I had to get that. Adventure 2000 is a big thing for me. Um, I do have. I do already have it there. But I have the whole set, apart from the missile launcher, which I am always looking for. I would love to love to get them boxed. 
But for, for a pound, I couldn't leave that. I couldn't leave it. That's, I mean, every shop I went into there was just brilliant. I did pick up this as well. Um, Thomas the Tank Engine. I thought it was um, incomplete, but apparently that's complete. And I bought that. For, I got that for 49p. See that, Galen, Galena. I have to check that out. Obviously, it's a modern Thomas diecast. Oh, it's diecast. A lot of it's plastic, but it's just unusual. I've not seen that one before. So hopefully, I might get a couple of quid for that. Who knows? But the best thing today, you might think of a. I've already uh, got a lot of good things, but look what I picked up in the charity shop. GameCube games. I just I just saw four. Pick them out. There were a lot of uh, Wii games and Wii U games, but I just saw GameCube. I didn't even see the Pokemon. I didn't even see that. And that was two pound fifty. That was the dearest one. So we have that for two pound fifty. And those go maybe for fifty, sixty pound each, maybe more. Uh, Donkey Kong. I need the drums. I need the bongos for that, but might get five for that. Chocolate, the chocolate factory, a pound. Those go for about 30, 40 pound, apparently. So uh, put that on as well. But what I did pick the pick it out, this is what I saw first. And then I thought I'd get them all. The Zelda, Twilight Princess, pre owned for a pound. And you can name your price on that more or less. So yeah. So I will probably do another video, I'll just talk about it on the live stream on what I will get for those. Um, I'm going to put them up on eBay at reasonable prices, so check me eBay if you're interested in those. Obviously, um, let me know if you've seen this video and send me a message if you want to send me a best offer. Because I won't put them up at a silly price, but I'll put them up to sell. And if you want, I'll put best offer. So if you want to put a best offer in, let me know. Same with these, I'm going to do a bit, a bit more research on these and put them up. I'm not going to sell myself short on these because I would like to keep these, but I know they're worth quite a bit, so they will be priced accordingly. So there we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. I, I, I wasn't even going to go out today, I only went to the post office and sent my mum for a cup of coffee. <laughs> so, it just get out there, get out there, get in the charity shops. Even that, you know, I just, I just, I just wonder if there was any more of these because these have come from a collector. You can tell because they've still got the boxes for one. They're still in the wrapping. They're mostly complete as far as I know. And I'm just wondering what else was there. I might have got there too late. I've still got them though, still got these. I don't really want to know what I've missed out on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And these GameCube games as well. I bet somebody was going to come in five minutes after me for those because I'm surprised they're still there. This is a Saturday, so just get out there, get out there, have a look. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please like this video if you like what I've picked up, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. May the toys be with you.